I'm Adil Kumar. In this video, we'll derive an expression for expected value of geometric distribution. In geometric distribution, we'll have n trials for a success. That means uh, nth trial is a success, and all the trials before that, n minus 1 trials, were failures. Right? So it is kind of a series where we are considering uh, uh, failures, failures, failures for n minus 1 terms followed by a success. Is that okay? So that is how it is. So if we have total number of trials as n, so n is the total number of trials, out of them n minus 1 are failures and the nth one is success. All these trials will consider them to be Bernoulli's trials where we have only two outcomes which are success or failure probability of success remaining same. So in this case, we have probability for success as p, probability for failure will be 1 minus p or we'll write it as q. Now when we have n minus 1 failures followed by a success, in that case, the probability for this random variable will be q to the power of n minus 1 times p, right? So that is the probability. The expected value will be equals to sum of x times, let's take n trials, let me take variable n, otherwise we'll get confused with that. So n times q to the power of n minus 1 p, where n is equals to 1 to infinity. Well, this can go on till infinity since uh, we may not get any success at the end, correct? So we want to figure out what this sum is. So let us expand this. If I put n as 1, uh, I get 1. q to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. q to the power of 0, let me write q to the power of 0, and then p. Plus 2, q to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 1, and then p plus 3 q square p plus 4 q p plus 5 q to the power of 4 p. Well, expected value is also the mean, right? So, we can write this as mean. Let's take p common. So, if I take p common, so first term we get only 1, then we have 2 q plus 3 q square plus 4 q q plus 5 q to the power of 4 so on so that's an infinite series it just continues so this is mu now if i multiply by q on both the sides i get q times mu equals to p and i can multiply this by q so i get q plus 2 q square plus 3 q plus 4, q to the power of 4, plus 5, q to the power of 5, plus so on, infinitely. Now, if I take away this equation second from the first, that is to say, let me say this is my equation number 1, this is equation number 2, and I do 1 minus 2. Okay. So, 1 minus 2 will be mu minus q mu equals to p common. So you will notice that these terms could be combined, right? So, so we get 1 plus 2q minus q is q, 3q square minus 2q square is q square plus q cube plus q to the power of 4, so on. Do you see that? So we get a series like this. Now that is an uh, infinite geometric series, right? This, this is infinite geometric series. Whose sum, whose sum is A over 1 minus R. And in our case, A is 1, right? In our case, A equals to 1 and R equals to Q. Now this sum is when r is the absolute value of r is less than one correct it is converging only when r is less than one you know q is less than one since sum of p and q is one so q has to be less than one 
So we can actually combine all these terms, which is a part of geometric series, and write this as p times first term is 1 over 1 minus q, right? On the left side, we can take mu commons, we get 1 minus q, right? So, so from here, 1 minus q, 1 minus q is p, right? So, so we get mu as equals to p times 1 over, this is p, 1 minus q is p times this comes in the denominator which is also p so which gives you 1 over p as the result is it okay so replacing 1 minus q as p here p and p cancels and you can write this as 1 over p either way so we have seen that the mean or expected value for a geometric distribution is 1 over p right so that is the derivation for this formula I hope that helps. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.